one man he worked hard for his family day and night and uh, he is he has no time for his family in fact but he is working hard for his wife and children and he is trying to get ma- maximum wealth he is doing his the best possible ways but he is in big debt but he never share anything with his wife because he thinks his wife doesn't understand everything and he doesn't want to disturb his wife so he doesn't tell anything to wife but at the same time he was in a big debt and lots of problems and he was going through tension and then slowly he started getting angry very fast at home started not listening to the children not have no time for the wife and children and slowly slowly the whole family was at the verge of divorce and wife was so upset children are upset at the end one day he came to our rotary center and he was he was crying because he was in a big trouble and he said how do i settle these issues how can i solve this problem then we said my dear friend my dear brother you have to change your question that is the problem you are worried about still worried about your debts but you know that your family is shaken your wife is start hating you your children are not loving you your family is going to be separated soon still you are thinking about how to solve the debts and how to give up give it away and how to overcome all these financial problem therefore you your questions are wrong you have to change your question then he asked what is the question then then question is this how to grow in love you should ask yourself how to grow in love all these years you are working hard for your family god has given you this family not for you to collect money and make money and support god has given you this family to love when you married your wife you promised love you were waiting for love you now most of the marriages is because of love and when they give chil- birth to children that is the result of their love is not a mistake but it is a result of their love when they see their ch- children the first em- emotion is love so in the family the is a collection of loves but in this in your family there is no love only money is given important therefore money is gone from your family when you are after money money will leave you when you are after jesus everything will come to you and when you are after your the love how to give love then you will see the problem changed so he said father what shall i do i started we said start loving your family start spending time for your children start speaking to your wife does your wife know all your debts problem she he said no father i never told my wife about these thing i didn't want to disturb her now i am carrying all the burden alone because i love my family and we said you may be loving them inside but they don't experience it because you don't express your love you don't take care of them you don't have time to speak to them you don't have you have no time to listen to them you love your love is inside but you don't express it and then he said father we will all try my best and he said he went back home he started speaking to his children he started taking entertaining them playing with them then children were very happy and then when everything was good he started try to reconcile with his wife and she he they started speaking together they started going for out for a coffee tea and then even spending lot of time talking to her and one day she he opened with lots of fear he opened up all the problems that he was going through and he shared it in front of the wife and he said please don't be a, don't get angry with me i'm in a big debt unimaginably we are in a debt i don't think we will be able to solve it so he knew she will react very badly and she will be so upset so he with lots of fear in him 
he opened his mind he shared everything with his wife suddenly this wife came and hugged him and said now i love you more so my dear sisters my dear brothers that he was so shocked to see this and that day his whole attitude towards his family and his wife changed when he loved more the family was united and slowly he could get back everything what he lost he got the family back because he started growing in love my dear brothers and sisters you cannot conquer the world with money but can conquer the world with love now there are so many movements in this world trying to conquer the world with their capacities talents some are becoming the world's richest people in the world by producing the latest cars and latest instruments and gadgets but there is somebody who still everyone remembers and always loves mother teresa mother teresa conquered the world with not with any kind of money or a, any kind of wealth but through love mother teresa became world citizen all the countries all the nations all the presidents honored her and she was not any she was not having any position in anywhere she was an only an ordinary nun of the catholic church ordinary nun of catholic church but all the president presidents and prime ministers and kings and queens waited to meet her waited to take a photograph with her waited to touch her hand and kiss her hand because she conquered the world with love they for always remember only love only through love you can defeat your enemies why did jesus die on the cross why can't jesus put some nuclear bombs on this world and destroy the people and get rid of all the evil people and select only good people and keep them alive he could have done it easy, easily within no time he could have brought some fire from above and consume everyone but he preferred this one he preferred to die on the cross because this is the maximum extreme expression of his love he loved you and loved me he expressed his love through this crucifix and he said i love you so much my dear brothers and sisters jesus conquered the world through the cross even today evil ones are shaken in front of the cross they are shocked and they are terrified in front of even a symbol of the cross my dear, my dear brothers and sisters therefore let us read this word of god colossians chapter 3 verse 14 colossians chapter 3 verse 14 we read above all clothe yourselves with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony do you feel there is disharmony in your feel in your family disunity in your family may misunderstanding in your family confusions in your family do you feel and divisions and groupism and unforgiveness everything in your family remember no arguments no money no influence nothing will work in those places above all clothe yourselves with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony only love can bind together everything in perfect harmony praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus